Hi, I'm Ronell Balabat, and I am the proud principal at Bernie Elementary. And I want to take a moment just to welcome you to our Bernie Elementary Kindergarten Information Night. And we've got uh, several things that we want to talk about today. Uh, one is academics, two, communication and what you can expect from us um, and how we would love to hear from you. Uh, we're going to talk about school culture and uh, volunteering. And then we also have after school activities through Beyond the Bell that we'll be discussing as well. Um, and then we'll have some time for some questions at the end. Again, I'm Rennell Ballot, the proud principal at Bernie Elementary. I'm Megan Clark, family liaison at Bernie Elementary. I'm Eileen Weeder, the multilingual language teacher at Bernie. Hi, I'm Sarah Smith. This is my sign name. And I am the kindergarten first grade teacher for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing program. One of the wonderful things about Tacoma Public Schools is that we have choice enrollment. So through choice enrollment, you can fill out a choice application for non-neighborhood students. Meaning, if you would like to come to the wonderful school, Bernie Elementary, you can choice in. By doing that, you need to have your applications for kindergarten by March 18th into the school. Students living outside of TPS boundaries have a different process though. That's a different application that you'd have to check with your school district releasing. They have to release you to be able to choice into our schools. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, to me, Megan Clark, about choice enrollment. So what does academic learning look like for kindergartners here at Bernie? Students learn through a balance of academic learning and social emotional play, and students learn how to make connections between the two. Students develop into strong readers by building foundational ABC skills. They learn what letters look like and sound like, and they have access to a large library of books that they can read to help reinforce and strengthen those connections to the ABCs. For math, students begin by learning to understand and recognize numbers. They practice counting and will move into addition and subtraction as the year goes on. Lastly, a really important subject, social emotional learning. We teach social and emotional skills through teacher and counselor collaboration. This type of learning supports skill development on the playground, in the lunchroom, and here in the classroom as well. So when we talk about communication and um, how we as a school communicate with families, we do several things. We have recorded calls. Um, you can expect teachers to email you, give you a phone call, or even text uh, from their uh, Google uh, accounts. Uh, we also have uh, Schoology, which is our learning management system uh, through the entire district. So you can expect um, communication back and forth from teachers and families and really talking about uh, some of the schoolwork that needs to be completed or even if you just have a question, you can use that. We also have the family app, which is a good way to let us know if you are sick or you can just call our uh, front office. Um, and then we have Sunday evening emails that come out every Sunday from me. Um, usually you hear it in a robotic voice so that it can be translated into multiple languages. And then it's also emailed um, every Sunday in multiple languages as well. And last but not least, we have a social media page, of course. So follow us, uh, 
click like and uh, subscribe to our Bernie Facebook page. Um, you get tons of information there, and we find that it's one of the easiest ways to uh, let families know what's going on. Achievers today, leaders tomorrow. What does that mean to Bernie Elementary? What that means is that we're giving your students a great foundation of achieve of, of learning as well as social emotional learning to make sure that they are great leaders in their community tomorrow. So the skills that they learn here at Bernie um, in Tacoma Public Schools will carry on into adulthood. We are making sure that the communities continue to thrive and become better because of the students' achievement today. Social emotional learning is an amazing foundation, especially starting out in kindergarten. It's really important that we are giving kids opportunities to connect with one another through All Start Connects, connect with their teachers. We're also opening up our PBIS student store where your student can earn through classroom achievement, making good choices, being out even out on the recess playground or in the lunchroom, they can earn points that they can spend in the student store. And we also, every month, we align our book character traits with a character trait. Um, well, OK, let me rewind. We connect our character trait with a book and they could you know, be talking about um, being a good friend and we connect that with a book that talks about being a good friend and every classroom has that book that they can read with their students. We also do family engagement through Table Talks and Table Talks is a every Wednesday at 4 p.m. My lovely co-facilitator, Miss Weeder, and I go through lots of different subjects. We have guest speakers. Um, we do game nights. Last night was bingo. We try to make sure that we have an ongoing open communication with families so they feel heard and they feel engaged with their school. So now I'm going to just pass it on to the lovely Miss Weeder. Hi, thanks, Megan. Um, so as I said earlier, my name is Eileen Weider and I'm the multilingual language spe specialist here at Bernie. Um, and I believe that I have the best job in the building because I get to work with families that have other languages spoken in the home. So every day I'm learning and at Bernie, we ensure that languages are celebrated. And as my students know, they are seen as their superpowers. Um, currently, we have over 100 students that are um, are currently enrolled in our multilingual program or they have graduated, which means that they have reached proficiency in English. Um, we have over 17 different languages represented here at Bernie, so languages are really something that's celebrated along with the culture that they bring. Um, so the program model is that students remain primarily in the classroom. I collaborate with teachers and work to give um, best strategies to support their learning um, with early speakers of English going to pull out groups and uh, having a more intensive support system. But we're more than just a language program. Um, we're a cohort of families with a personal contact that's usually on speed dial um, that follows your child's path from uh, kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. Um, their, their educational journey here at Bernie. Um, we also have a group called El Grupo, and it is our Spanish literacy uh, group that meets every week on Fridays, and it includes parents. We have families that come in the morning right before school for about an hour, and we work on Spanish literacy skills because it's research proves that if you are building a language in uh, literacy skills in one language, they do transfer over to the other language. Um, so yeah, that was it. And we have one more thing I want to talk about. We have a language line uh, service that if you are in need of an interpreter, we have one on the phone um, in just a matter of moments for you, regardless of what language. There are about 100, over 100 different languages that we have access to a phone interpreter. Um, and volunteer opportunities. I think I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I know Ms. Megan's the expert on there, um, but we do have uh, volunteer applications. We encourage volunteering 
in that can look in many different ways. We were talking about families coming in to actually help in the classroom, but some people don't have time for that. Often there's times that you may be able to volunteer by taking some materials home and cutting things out for teachers and preparing uh, folders and packets. And then you can do that in the comfort of your home and then send it back with your child for the teacher to distribute to the students. Another thing that we are always looking for are recess volunteers. We love having recess volunteers um, come out with your child and shoot some basketball or, or do some Foursquare and, and it'll kids love it. They love seeing families on, on um, campus. There is a form that you need to complete, uh, but there's one online and then there's one also paper copy, I believe. So I'll hand it over to Sarah. Hi, here at Bernie, we have an amazing deaf program that goes from Bernie all the way through high school at Mount Tahoma. We are a bimodal and bicultural program that incorporates American Sign Language along with written and spoken English, depending on the individual needs of the students. We have speech therapists who support language development and speech skills, depending on the needs of your child. We read and write just like general education classes, and we partner with other teachers and peers to support continued learning. We also strive to provide more opportunities for deaf adults to volunteer by coming into the classroom or meet with our class virtually. This gives students the opportunity to see adult signers and imagine what their futures might look like. We have ASL interpreters. We have so many opportunities for access. It's a really cool program that we have here at Bernie. I know Ms. Weeder touched upon volunteering and really did a great job. Um, not only do you have all of those different things to um, support when you just, even if it means just coming in and reading in a classroom, I mean, we really want you to let us know how you would like to be involved in, at Bernie. Um, we can make things work. If you have a creative idea, we'd love to hear it. Uh, it's really important that you do fill out an, a volunteer application. If it's yourself, you can fill out an application for a parent um, or if it's a community volunteer, if it's someone like Aunt Edna wants to come in and read um, to Junior, you can come and do that. So um, there's two different applications and you just go to TacomaSchools.org, the Get Involved tab. And once you have your application ready, we just need a color copy of your ID. So you're going to bring that in. We can take a color copy here. And then we need your vaccination card as well. And Ms. Roseanne, our office coordinator, can go ahead and fill it out. Or you can email it if you have that information already. You can email it to Ms. Roseanne at the email address bottom on the slide. So um, we look forward to having you in our, in our building and getting to know you better. Beyond the Bell, this is an exciting program. This is the way that we can get our students involved up and moving, doing different activities after school. Our extended learning opportunities here in Tacoma are amazing. We have things like microgreens where you're growing nutritious food, even cooking them. We have lots of different um, sports activities, soccer, basketball, as well as some art and dance. We have really tried to infuse the after school experience with many different um, very various things so your students have options and that can be signed up through the family app and once you're registered on the family app it'll show your student and you'll see a beyond the bell tab and you can select it and pick which one you want to be involved with and this is free programming you can pay what you choose so if you'd like to pay something you you have that option but if you're not in a position to it's free programming so we have if you have questions uh feel free to contact us at our number uh, you can get the information on our website or at the district website um, our number is 253 571-4600. Uh, um, 
by all means, you can ask for uh, Ms. Weeder, Ms. Clark, or uh, Ms. Sarah, or even myself to answer any of those questions. We would love to uh, hear from you um, and support you along the way.